Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. My name of course is Mr. Mokalover, and yes, we were looking at Siam and Southeast Asia. Because, hopefully in this episode, we will take the rest of mainland China away from the Japanese. That is, of course, our goal. Um, let's see. A couple comments, and I don't think I exactly remember all the comments that I've had in a while. But I remember one of them saying, play Kaiserreich as a social democratic... Indochina. This area down here. Uh, that's interesting. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Uh, I'll keep it. I'll keep that in mind, definitely. Also, I think the same person said hello, so hello to you, Athena. And, ooh, very nice, very nice. Let's see. The same person also said, or at least for me to try, play as, what was it, play the Old World, Old World Blues mod, that's basically Fallout in... Toy 4, which I played a lot of Fallout. Actually, I played a lot of Fallout this year. I really, really wasn't a big Fallout player until this year, 2019. But yeah, that'd be kind of cool. Um, not, I've not touched it at all, just because I wasn't interested in Fallout at the time. But at the current moment, uh, I, I give it a try. But first, I would have to play through it by myself first, just to see how things are going. You know, things like that. However, I'm also thinking about my current campaign right now. And someone left an extremely good suggestion in uh, the comments in one of the past videos. I think it was yesterday's. What I should do is at the end of this war, the Japanese are not our final enemy. <clears throat> because we have someone in our alliance, our own freaking alliance, that refuses to give up true, rightful German clay. That's right. And if you don't know who that is, no, it's not the French. Ooh, nice. Very nice. It is the Italians. The Italians have purposefully told us no to annexing Sud Tyrol, which is an Austrian, therefore German, core. Oh, Italy. You were so strong, not really, but kind of. If only you realize that if you just hand over Tyrol, I wouldn't have to go in and puppet you like that one guy said. But it looks like I might just have to go ahead and do that, which I'm totally okay with, actually. Uh, I said I was done with the dockyards, but since we're going to go to war with Italy, probably, I'm probably going to need a few more. Add in another light cruiser, probably. Actually, can I have... Do I have any upgrades? Level 4, level 4, level 3. Could be level 4. Better... Not medium. Rapid fire. Oh my goodness, yes. Uh, we have currently a light cruiser battery 2. Light cruiser battery 3. Makes it slightly slower. Gives you just slightly more light attack and piercing. Yeah, screw it. We'll add it on. Uh, I won't change these, though, because I don't think it really would make a massive difference. Battery 3, light battery 4, but light cruiser battery 4. Yeah, I don't think it's really going to make that much of a difference at this point, so we're just going to do that. Cool. Light cruiser battery 1944, cruiser hold D. Great. And just go ahead and add... Ah, I'll get another one on there, because why not? We love... We love democracy. We love the republic. Ah, oh, very nice. Very good. And of course, Schleswig-Holstein is probably our go-to, even though I'm probably going to screw that up. And that's okay. But yeah, we're going to go to war with Italy. That'll be the last nation in this playthrough. I don't want to play through any other country. Go take out anyone else. That will be the last country we take out after we backstab them. After Japan is done. That is my goal. That is our final goal. Which means I need to make a couple more uh, thumbnails. <laughs> for um this campaign actually oh crap that means i have to make more thumbnails today that's okay though that's really fine with me they're not you know extremely not extremely hard to make especially mine my, my thumbnails they're okay they're not great but you know they are what they are so let's see you guys come over here you know screw it just do that all of you come here go ahead Take out all the way down to Malaysia. That'll be good. Just go ahead and give you a few, few seconds and okay, go ahead. Cool. Uh, China's looking very good. We want we have Qingdao, which is nice. Oh, it's paused. And, <clears throat> excuse me. Excuse me. We have 13 tanks dying to get over to this Korean island. All right, then. Uh, we have South Korea, which we are trying to build up a bigger airbase here. It looks like, yes, that's good. Because I'm going to be going to try to use a few, not a bunch, but a few strategic bombers. So that 
we can blow up, blow the hell out of the enemy air bases. That's my goal. I'm going to blow the hell out of the enemy air bases. And we have about less than a year for us to execute nuclear strikes on Japan, which is fine with me. Ooh, something's going on over here. Oh, a couple confederated or confederate uh, docks or convoys, I mean. Not good, not good. That's okay. Yeah, casualty is very high, very high. Well, that's okay. That's kind of what you would expect anyways. Uh, let's see. Go ahead. Let's stop what you're doing. Go ahead and rearrange the line. I don't want really a tough thrust through here until it is a good time to do so. You guys are fairly organized. There's not too many divisions over here, so I'm going to tell all of you guys to go right on ahead. Even though you guys aren't doing it. Oh, wait, was that? Oh, that's this group up here, isn't it? No? No, that's what I thought. Okay, cool then. I'm going crazy. Uh, more defense and organization. I prefer that one usually. Paratroopers, that's a waste of time for me. This is a waste of time for me too, but whatever. Uh, yeah, you guys are down here. Oh, wait. Go ahead and hold. Just hold. These guys, yeah, my lines are screwing me up so badly right now. Oh, there was a little bit of encirclement there. You guys are placed over here. Okay, you guys are going. Okay, cool. Anyways. Anyways. Go ahead and pause. Just go ahead and reorganize yourselves. We don't need to really attack. We already suffered over 2.6 million casualties. There's no point to really to just nail ourselves constantly on that front line. Uh, we got an extra infantry army over here in Egypt, which is interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Would be a shame if someone was preparing to invade Italy, but, you know, I don't know about that. I don't know. How many nuclear reactors do we have? Uh, we have 12. Not bad, not bad. And next a couple places. Nationalist South Africa can be reduced to Rex Commissariat. Yes, please. Truly a Rex Commissariat. Rex Protectorate, Rex Commissariat. Very beautiful now. What what level do we get for that? Oh, Caledonia is it Rex Protectorate? Huh. Yeah, you guys you guys might as well go because they're not <clears throat> too strong down here. Not too strong. Uh, I will build up some more infrastructure and stuff around these garbage areas. That'll make me feel better at least. Cool. Oh, ships. Twelve destroyers. Very nice, especially with one of our. Uh, Patrol fleets here. Great job, guys. Select. Some upgrades can be had. Some uh, healing. Or some repairing, I mean. Healing. Huh. <laughs> you don't heal ships, you repair them. As far as I know. Cool. It is a little laggy. But I was also thinking about the next, you know, DLC for Hoi 4. There's, no, there's been no announcement yet, but I'm really interested in the next, you know, piece of DLC. Uh, but I know that they are working on trying to make Hoi 4 64, uh, into a 64 based client instead of 32 based, which would make it run in, at least in my case probably extremely better because of the way I built my PC. Because right now it's running on 32 bit, which means it can only I think use up to 4 gigs of RAM, is it? Is it 4 gigs of RAM for 32 bit I think? But with my PC, I made sure I put 16, so I can't exactly use all of the hardware that I technically built my PC for Hoi 4, which kind of sucks. But if they make it 64-bit, then I can actually take advantage of my PC's, you know, capabilities. Cool. Hopefully we'll win a lot of these battles. We're not going to win all of them. Oh, maybe we won't win most of them. Ooh, that's not good. Uh, then again, the Chinese do have a little buff on their core territory, so... Uh, let's see. They have attack and defense on core territory. Uh, let's see. Anything else? So, I mean, I told them to be careful about it. It is for, for unaligned. Oh, wow. 50% consumer goods factories. You have, like, nothing. Yeah, that's what I thought. Advanced medium batteries. Cool. Very cool. And we're almost done with the naval stuff. Cool. Great. Keep crushing them. Keep crushing them. The Japanese are approaching 9 million casualties. Absolutely bonkers. Alright, so here... My goal... God dang it, I said I was going to do this, but I forgot to do it every single day. 
is remove a lot of these planes here. Anyways, that's fine. Strategic oh, we got a lot of strategic bombers in two. Let's go ahead and add some planes here. And what I want them to do is nuclear reactors, radar, anti-air, and air bases. Everything else should be okay. Uh, maybe not infrastructure just because I will have to invade nor ports. Dockyards, I don't care about. Refineries, da 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 That stuff was okay. Cool. Signal companies, huh? Sure, why not? Deploying, deploying, and they are good too. God, it's so laggy. Go. Awesome. And actually, can we end the war just by nuking them? We might be able to. Nagasaki. We need more air superiority, of course, but let's see what happens. Tanks are ready to go. Uh, I will actually position my tanks to and be one of the first uh, army groups to actually invade. <clears throat> Probably not a great idea, but hell, you know, it's it's for the fun. It's for the fun of it. If I lose a tank or two, that's okay. We got 14 divisions. Uh, you attack the actual port. One, two. You will come from the same port and attack this way and then right there. You want to attack the actual port. Uh, just keep doing the same place. That's fine with me. Uh, attack this port. Or not, it's not port, but right next to that port. And one, two. And then you guys will attack from the same place to over here to cut off the port from the Japanese. The rest of the Japanese island right there. Hmm. <clears throat> See, Japan. That's nice. Home islands. Heavy fighters. There we go. Heavy fighter threes. Cool, cool, awesome. 200 strategic bombers hopefully can do something here. Oh, and they're not even doing anything because I told them not to do anything. Okay then. We're doing a zero points of damage. And we lost one. Awesome. And how is this looking? Oh, we're pushing down very well. We've almost reached Siam. That's great, guys. Great job. Maximilian, I doubt you have anything for me. Let's see if today's coffee is any better than yesterday's. I would say so. I would say quite so. Let's see. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, anything else here? Region-wide industrial integration. Integration sounds like a good idea. Uh, we're 100% fascist, so that's pretty good. Um, yeah. And are we still mobilizing? We are still mobilizing soldiers. Good. Very nice. Keep pushing in, guys. You're doing a great job. Actually, I should have sent my tanks down to China, but whatever. Infantry can be good enough, you know. How is this looking? Home islands are doing okay. We've actually lost quite a few planes around here. Definitely need to put more planes over here. Let's see. I put a hundred... You know what, before we do that, let's get, keep time going on so we can quickly get rid of China and the mainland Chinese-Japanese threats. Let's go ahead and get rid of a lot of these extra planes that we don't really need. Yeah, it's maybe a bad idea to do this, because I still have like one or two airplane wings, but other than that, it doesn't really matter. Cool, cool, cool. And we'll leave like 100 or something. You guys, go and get rid of that, get rid of that as well. Carrier fighters, we got a lot of those. These, <clears throat> excuse me, Junkers, and eh, we're making the best ones anyways, doesn't really matter, we have over 800, I don't think we're going to lose 800 carrier fighters, planes, or close air support planes anytime soon, so, naval bombers, same idea, just, just make whatever we're making right now, cool, <clears throat> carrier naval bombers, same idea, tactical, oh my gosh, tactical bombers, so bad, so bad, so we're trying to make Junkers, it looks like Junkers 188Bs, or Junkers 188 Bay. Which is fine with me, it's fine with me. Let's get rid of all this because it's so much easier to deploy things, so much easier to deploy equipment than doing that. So you guys, uh, yeah, I know I got rid of a good pair, but whatever, I don't really care. I just want the best of the best, and these plans will either get destroyed or be upgraded eventually, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, it's so much easier scrolling through this now. Oh, it's so worth it. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Keep an eye on our fuel. <clears throat> oh, excuse me for my voice. What is wrong with my voice now? Oh boy, I hope I don't have to buy a new one. 
<laughs> like my microphone. Oh, oh, that's not good. They really don't like the strategic bombers coming to Japan. Now I'll suck on my heavy fighters, Japan. Let's see. Nice. Room for 200 more heavy fighters, please. And there you are. Actually, I should put an airbase up here. Oh, you already have. Oh, I already put a crap ton of planes over here. Awesome. Take half of y'all. You're all mostly heavy fighters, which is fine. But I do want some, maybe a naval bomber or two. Yeah, do that. You guys will be instead focused on Steve Japan. Do that. Nice. Because I'll need to put my ships down here as well. So we might as well go ahead and plan for the inevitable. Nice, 200 more plants. I'm actually going to add more strategic bombers here. And they are set to this, this, air bases, anti-air. Yeah, that's probably for the best. Keep adding them in. Very good. Most of our plants are getting disrupted, which is unfortunate, but that's okay. We will bring the heat. To Japan. Oh wow. We got a lot of ships still, a lot of planes. Pretty normal though. Pretty darn normal. Ooh, we suck a sub. Hmm. Oh, we're doing so well in Southeast Asia. So much better than what the United States did in the conflict against Vietnam. But you know, that's not that's not here nor there. That's in that starts in like ten years. <laughs> oh god. Uh you guys. Go ahead and cut that area off. And then attack. Awesome. Uh, extra division. Very cool. Move this guy. Move you from here to... We already have one guy here. Um, Go there. Send. Good luck. Seriously, good luck. Nice. We lost the destroyer, though, but we exchanged for 11 more ships. That's pretty good. Do that, and then do this, and for this. Yeah, those are fine. Cool. Good. Early destroyer. Nice. The Japanese have lost over nine and a third million manpower. Early destroyer. Hold up, oh, and of course we got encircled. But something tells me we're probably going to do the same thing back to them. Oh, do we have a circle encirclement here? Ah, the Japanese getting stuck in China. A tale as old as time. Very good. Oh, our forces have been split. Siam is gone. That is glorious. I want all of you guys to finish out going this way, and then we'll finish going out down south towards Malaya. And then maybe we'll have our allies take out the East Indies here, or the Indies. Very cool. Let's see. Oh, we got some more military factories, huh? Uh, put you for 1944. Cruiser Hall D. Any other cruiser hold these? Yes, no, I guess not. Any other planes? Any other? Oh, improved amphibious tractor. Basic amphibious tank. Rocket motorized. Let's make some of that. That sounds like fun. Oh, wow, we need a crap ton of aluminum. Holy smokerinos. Nice. Nice. Hopefully, someone will start invading Japan. Hopefully. Oh, we lost some. Is that. Our subs or are those Norwegians? Um, maybe that's our subs. Lucas Brown. Oh no, that's Rex Commissary at Ukraine. Okay, well, those aren't my subs, so that's good to know. I don't remember putting subs there, but okay. Air bases. I need more home island bombers. Good. Let's see. Same thing. Radar. Airports, anti-air. We'll focus on those for you. Because they're still disrupting quite a few of our planes. Hmm. Put another 200 heavy fighters here. Awesome, awesome. And... 400 more here. 
Let's make sure that we're actually building up more than enough refineries. Let's see. This has 100% infrastructure. I love it. I love it. And I love it. Anyone else can be lowered? Uh, nothing interesting. Nothing interesting. And... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Execute case Anton. Hmm. You know, honestly, I just kind of want to keep the French here until Italy is gone. That's what my goal. Um, I don't want to really annex them. I said I would do it in 1942, but at this point in time, it's 1950. I'm really not interested in annexing France until we are fully sure that our... Um, all of our allies are properly aligned. And we're out of a war. Yeah, this coffee is better, but not great than yesterday's. Let's do that. Cool. Awesome. Are enemy places getting bombed to hell or not? Maybe not. Do they even have air bases? Oh, well, I guess they're getting bombed a little bit. Yeah. A little bit. Not a bunch, but a little bit. Let's see if we can add in 400 more strategic bombers. Now, I am running out of strategic, strategic bombers because I'm not really making that many. Do that, do that, do that. That'll be absolutely good. Yeah, that's good. 47%, 50% disrupted. We are doing some damage, though. And we are killing some enemy planes, which is always kind of nice. Awesome. Wow, this area has been mostly completely taken out already. Great. Going to get down there, take one division, and come down this way as well. Very cool. Go ahead. It's here to support. Just go ahead and go down here. Take them all out if you can. China, China, China's never looked any better. Any better. Oh, and the Marines are done. Cool. I wanted to actually use my Marines to help invade Japan as well. So, since we lost one division, which really kind of sucks... We're going to need one, two. We're actually invade from this area to... Oh, this area is nice to have. But I need a port when you invade. We could invade here. We could try that, even though you are actually invading from a very far away distance. Um, yeah, come here, actually. I'm too lazy to rearrange that other division, but whatever. And just do the same thing. Cool. Have we sunk anything? We sunk... Whoa, two carriers. Nice. Good job, guys. Deserve a pat on the back for that one. Very cool. And any other soldiers here? No, yes. Maybe so. Go ahead, take them out, and then we'll take out Saigon, and that'll be great. And we'll finish up the Malayan area down here. Ah. Everything's going according to plan so far. Good, you guys are doing a great job down here. Uh, this little pocket is a little concerning. Not gonna lie, it is a little concerning. But, that's okay. We'll, we'll fix it up. We'll fix it up soon enough. And, get some better anti-air. Okay, they all died. Love it. Absolutely love it. Great stuff, guys. Great stuff. What's up? Japanese manpower. About two million, maybe less than two. Absolute ton of planes, lots of ships. Well, actually, not a lot of ships. We've killed like 600 Japanese ships. I mean, we've been doing a great job. Absolutely a great job. Let's see, how are their air bases still? Well, they're not great. They, oh, damage one out of three. That's not bad. Zero out of three. One out of three. That's pretty good. Oh, wait. Hold on. We can do that. Uh, actually, you know what? I don't want to nuke them into submission. Execute nuclear strikes. Effects when failed offers unconditional surrender. Ah, the streets were like a scene from hell. Today, a nuclear bomb was detonated over the city of Hiroshima at an altitude of 580 meters. More than two-thirds of the city were instantly destroyed. Despite the city being built to withstand earthquakes, only a few sturdy structures survived the blast. While the power of the atomic bomb has been played up in the public mind, the human cost of the weapon has been played down. Neither side wants to contemplate the horrors of the event, but its legacy will be one of lives lost in the blink of an eye and lasting fallout. I don't want to use nuclear bombs to destroy J Japan. Why? Just because we did that last time as the United States. I think we played as U.S. last time. 
and I'm really not interested in having to manually take over Japan through the use of the state transfer tool mod. I believe that's what I did for that game, and I was just kind of a little disgruntled when I had to do that, when all of Japan should have just surrendered immediately after I nuked them twice. So I'm just going to go ahead and invade them normally. Yeah, it'll cost a couple more casualties, but we're having a good time. I'm already planning ahead with my strategic bombers and stuff like that. Go ahead, guys. Go ahead and invade if you can. But that... Let's do it normally. Let's be a little bit more normal. Oh, what's going on over here? Spanish sub lost by sunk by a destroyer. All right then. Uh, let's see. Two hundred more strategic bombers. Really want to limit as many uh, air bases as possible. That's really our goal. And maybe this. Yeah, radar not a, not of a big deal as I think it is for the AI. They really don't make that much radar. That'd be good. And since we can limit the amount of planes in the air. That would be a fabulous. Oh, I put 500. Um, actually, increase that to 800. There you go. That's better. Signal company, great. Let's go ahead and get some more, 100 more strategic bombers. And then, um, that's not the only thing I'm going to do, though. I'm going to actually add in. Hmm. Uh, 100. Well, I guess I guess at this point 400 more tactical bombers. It's fine with me. Yeah, I'm going to need a lot of fuel because they can also do strategic bombing as well, so which is fine and good for us. Mm, do that, do that, do that, and don't do that. Yeah, tactical bombers. I never use tactical bombers like strategic bombers anymore. I used to do that in Darkest Hour. A Hearts of Iron game, but I guess at this point I really just kind of forgot about it. Tactical bombers are extremely versatile. They're not best in anything, but they're really good, period, in my opinion. But yeah, they don't do close air support as well as close air support planes. They don't do naval bombing as well as naval bombers, but for an all around plane, you can't beat tactical bombers, especially with the range. <clears throat> I mean, and this, this at this point. Southeast Asia is looking a little not good. I'm not sure how else to put that. They just don't look very good. Go ahead. All right, for this area, I really want this area done with. I mean, I don't care about the casualties anymore. I mean, yeah, we suffered 3 million casualties. But the Japanese have approached 10 million. And at this point, we are just planning for an invasion of Japan itself. So... Let's see. Ships, you. You know what? I'm going to actually put you over here. Come to Vladivostok. That'll be good. Take you off of that. Come to Vladivostok, where those guys are. Ooh. Japanese destroyer. I don't think that the Japanese will have a lot of ships left by the time we try to invade. Yeah, they probably got a couple carriers and stuff like that, but you know, whatever. You know, I'm gonna instantly start switching some stuff around as well. Uh, patrols, go ahead, forget about all this area. Far East Indian, oh. Goa, Maldives. I want all of you, and I want you to come to Sea Japan, Coast of Japan. Three. Those three. I want you to patrol. I want you, you're on high, escort efficiency. Good. Go ahead and move up that way because we are planning for the invasion of Japan. And Monstein has been wounded. So be it. Um, go ahead. Yeah, we didn't exactly finish the mainland up in this, is this island in this episode, but, you know, we're trying. We're definitely trying here. Uh, you guys, go ahead and put them out of the misery. That'll be good. Torpedo uh, tube. Very cool. Any other planes? Sure. Carry your close air support. I should have done strategic bombers, but whatever. Doesn't matter. Oh, it looks like there's some sort of 54 ships in a single fleet. Oh, baby. Patrol the area. Now, I'm sure. I'm sure the Japanese have put planes around here somewhere, once, especially once they see how many uh, things I... How many ships are around here? I'm sure they put some planes in the water around here. 
Hiroshima, still pretty damaged. I'm not going to nuke them again, though. Tokyo, we're trying to bomb the hell out of their bases, but it's going okay. Not great. It's going okay. And we have already some ships that are capable of doing this. We'll get full access, full access. It's a little crazy to do this, but yes, full access. And here comes my patrol group. And the Rory Organized Government of China has collapsed, and they still have a couple great war tanks. Okay, then. Um, moving to Vladivostok, uh, let you guys move first. Have we engaged the enemy? We've engaged some naval mines. Well, that's not good. What is this? Oh, we are have engaged the enemy. And actually, I'm going to tell you guys to go ahead and be a strike force here. Oh, baby, we already got hit. Oh, we're probably going to lose some. Oh, we lost a battleship. Oh, no, we lost a battleship. Oh, God. Oh, that's terrible. Absolutely terrible. We sunk two destroyers in exchange. Three destroyers. Wow, that's... That's really not worth it. Uh, but hold on. Who did we lose? Because I got plenty of ships here. Was it one of you guys? I don't think so. Oh, yeah, maybe it was. Let's see. Battleship. That's eight. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Let's see. Uh, you could use... This one could use another screen. Uh, operating Sea of Japan. You guys... I think I was clicking on you before. You still have... Oh, you guys could actually... You could use this one. This level three... This third guy here. Uh, let's go ahead and add in. Place it with a heavy cruiser. And add him another one of those. Three. Go ahead and merge. If you can get there without dying. You guys are good. You guys are good. And then you guys are very good. Holy crap. Yeah, that's actually not too bad. Awesome. Awesome, guys. Awesome, 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 possum. Go ahead and just add another one because we can. Schleswig Holstein. Pretty normal stuff. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh boy. And we sunk a battle. Uh, destroyer, I mean. Battle, battleship? No. Destroyer. Destroyer. Great. So, we are pretty much poised for the correct invasion of Japan, which we will do in the next episode. And we've also capitulated China. And this is looking very disgusting right now. But that's okay. It's China. What do you expect? Uh, yeah. So, next time we will invade Japan. We have, And we will finish off, hopefully, Si Am as our Italian allies, as it looks to be. I've decided to invade the Indies here. So, with that in mind, guys, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate you guys coming around and watching every single day and leaving your likes and comments. Uh, leave a like if you haven't leave, left a like yet. Subscribe if you're new, and I will see you tomorrow as we do, of course, invade Japan. Thanks for watching.